Hey everybody, Paul Cram here. I wanted to just mention a book that I think if you like scent and smelling things, uh, you probably, either of you've already read it or you might be interested in it. Perfumes, The Guide, written by husband-wife husband, wife duo uh, Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez. They In it, they kind of, they give um, little mini reviews of scents. They give them you know, star ratings and they kind of tell you what the scent smells like and a little bit of uh, nuggets of what they what they thought of it. Uh, one that they didn't like was Star Walker by Mont Blanc. Uh, they say they gave it one star and they called it Citrus Woody. And I love reading some of the things that they say. They say astronauts report that it smells terrible aboard the space station. What with a small space, recycled air, and bodies close together. It'd be more nauseating, however, if they were wearing this. Uh, one that they liked was they gave four stars was Stetson. Uh, they say it's a floral oriental. How often does a perfume make you giggle uncontrollably? Stetson, bottled since 1981, is plainly for men. The box is a sober manly box in two stony manly colors. There are pictures of manly cowboys lassoing manly horses. The manly promo copy on the manly back says, The legendary fragrance of the American West, a rich, masculine blend of rugged woods and spice. Well, shine my spurs. This is masculine? I could have sworn it was a crisp, classic, feminine oriental in the style of Taboo and Youth Do, with that classic Coca-Cola brightness, an animalic jasmine to fill it out, and powdery, leathery bals balsamic woods to finish, an old-fashioned structure that still works a treat. It's gorgeous, as rugged and masculine as the lingerie level at Saks Fifth Avenue, and about 10 bucks per ounce. I truly love a man who wore this, but in the absence of one, I'll gladly wear it myself, said Tanya Sanchez. So, <laughs> Anyhow, I get a kick out of these. Uh, I, I do find myself reaching for it. It's on my shelf um, when I'm kind of watching other perfume reviews and cologne reviews and scent and fragrance things uh, to see if they've mentioned anything. I do know that I disagree with them a lot. A lot of the fragrances that I've tried and sampled over over the course of time, just because they don't like it doesn't mean I don't. There's actually been uh, several that I really I really liked, and a few that I didn't. I really liked. They mentioned Lime Basil Mandarin by Joe Malone. I loved it. Um, there's been a couple that they've said that they loved, and I was like, hmm, that really didn't do anything for me. So, again, it's all personal preference, uh, but it is kind of fun to read some of the snark. I, I, I definitely like me some snarky writing, uh, but I also appreciate some of the beautiful writing that they have in here, too. So, if you haven't already, check it out. Go to the library, pick it up, or even, you know, all those places online that you can buy books. So, <laughs> anyhow, I'll be in touch with you guys. Take care.